Moving on to part C, we're still using the same two original functions where f of x is equal to x squared and g of x is equal to x squared plus 4. But now we're going to find f of f, okay, and its domain. So again, as soon as you see this circle, that means composition. Okay, so you should write down the more meaningful way to interpret this. This is going to be f of f of x. Okay, so here the inside function and the outside function are both f. Okay, so here f is the inside function and it's also the outside function. Okay, so basically we look on the inside, we've got the f of x. Okay, we're plugging f into f. Okay, so we're plugging f into f, okay? And it's totally possible to plug a function into itself, okay? So let's do this, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and write down the outside function I'm plugging into f, okay? So f of x is x squared, okay? So the outside function here is x squared, okay? And we need our new input to this function is f of x, okay? We're plugging f into f. Okay, so here's my outside function. I'm going to circle x, okay? Everywhere I see x, I need to replace it with my new input, okay, which is the inside function. I'm plugging in f of x, which is x squared, okay? So we're going to end up with, if we simplify this, okay, think of the circle as parentheses. You've got x squared in parentheses, and then you need to square that. Okay, so this is going to be x squared squared. So this is x squared times x squared. This is basically x times x, which is x squared times another x squared, which is x times x. So this whole thing simplifies to be x to the fourth. Okay, this is f of f of x. Okay, or f of f of x. Okay, so let me go ahead and circle this. This is the answer. Okay, and now we can write down the domain. Okay x to the fourth, our resulting function, is a polynomial. Okay, so the domain is going to be all real numbers. So let me jot that down. Okay, so the domain of f of f, okay, is all real numbers. Okay, all right, so now we're going to move on to part D. In part D, we are going to be finding g of g. All right, so if we move over, okay, here we go. So we've got g of g, that's what we're trying to find, okay, and its domain, okay? So again, as soon as you see this, this little dot indicates composition, okay? So we're going to write down the more meaningful part here. We're doing g of g of x, okay, like this, okay? So we're basically plugging g of x into g, okay? So here, g is the inside function, G is also the outside function. We are plugging G into G, okay? So what we're gonna do here, we are gonna start with the outside function, okay? What are we plugging into? We're plugging into G, okay? So G of X is X squared plus four, so let's go ahead and write that down, okay? The outside function is X squared plus four, okay? And what are we plugging into it? Well, the inside function, okay? So that means we always plug in for x, okay? So find every instance of x and circle it, okay? Everywhere you see x, you're gonna replace it with the new input. The new input is what's in parentheses, the inside function, okay? G of x is x squared plus four, okay? All right, so now you need to simplify this, okay? Again, whatever's in cir the circle, that's parentheses, okay? So think in parentheses, x squared plus four, okay? That needs to be squared, okay? And then don't forget to tack on the plus four, okay? So this is how you form g of g of x, okay? We need to simplify this, so we're gonna have to multiply it out. We need to do x squared plus four times itself, and then we need to tack on the plus four over here, okay? Earlier, we did the work for x squared plus four times itself, okay? We did that up here, okay? Uh, up here in the little box method. Okay, so x squared uh, plus 4 times itself, we ended up with x to the fourth plus 
4x squared plus 4x squared plus 16. Make sure I'm writing that down correctly. Yes. Okay. And then that was the result of doing x squared plus 4 times itself. Don't forget this plus 4 right here. Okay. So now if you combine like terms, we're going to end up with x to the fourth plus 8x squared plus 20. Okay. This is going to be g of g of x. Okay. All right. So we have ended up with a polynomial. x to the fourth plus 8x squared plus 20 is a polynomial. So the domain of g of g is all real numbers. And that's it.